What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kai, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Kai. You are tuning into my YouTube channel. It must be Kai. Definitely go ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe button before we get right into this video, where I'm going to be showing y'all two ways that you could stretch your mini twist. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. All right, y'all, so we just about to go ahead and get started with this quick video. I just got done mini twisting my hair. If you haven't seen me mini twist my hair before, there are plenty of videos of me doing it on my channel. So, of course, I'm going to link those down below and put them in the little corner up here. So you can see those videos because I didn't feel the need to do it again since I've already done it. I think maybe like two or three times on my channel I've done mini twists, so that's why I didn't film it. But these are my freshly done mini twists because your girl is about to go on vacation and y'all know I'm a beach bum and I really just didn't want to go all out with the braids and stuff like that. I just wanted to really just wear my natural hair, but it'd be maintainable and not get tangled. So I'm going to be showing y'all two ways that I stretch my mini twists to keep them elongated. And the only thing you'll need is this satin scrunchie here. I like for my mini twists to be elongated, but y'all know how I am. Y'all know how I am about the heat, okay? Or just taking the extra step and blow drying my hair out. I'm just not gonna do it, okay? I know some people do, I don't. So first things first, you're just gonna grab all your mini twists. This video is real short, so y'all gonna see me moving around and all that stuff. So you're just gonna grab all your mini twists and you're just gonna twist it like in a swirl, like pretend like you're doing a huge bantu knot and just be gentle with it. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I started doing this and I was like, dang, I did some of these are real tight like they was real tight like there was one on my neck that was like pulling so bad but all you're gonna do is twist it and swirl it and you're just gonna take that satin scrunchie and you're just gonna put it around twice on the knot part don't do the end so see how i'm doing it i'm just knotting the bun part and not the ends i'm not even taking it all the way around the point like the my ends i'm just gonna knot it into that little bit so y'all can see how the ends are free and that the shaft is just being stretched the reason for this is because you do not want to stretch your ends out like i don't know about y'all but i like my ends to be really really curly and stuff like that I, that's how i want them to look so that's why i stretch my twist like this so this is the first way that you can do it because it will leave them flat on your head this is the way i like to do it just because if i do it the second way my twists are gonna like sit up and i'm gonna have to wet the root but that was just the first way of how i stretch my mini twists let's go ahead and get into the second way i'm just gonna put them all on top of my head now if you do do it this way you are gonna have some volume you're gonna have some lift and by that i mean y'all know how it is when you take a twist out or when you um whether how big or small or braids or anything if you take them out they're gonna kind of like sit up and lift off the root this is how you get that look so if you do want a little more volume you don't want them super flat to your head then do them this way but if you want them nice and flat and be able to tie them down and get that really smooth look definitely go with the first way but honestly it's really the same thing i'm just gonna gather up all my twists it did take me a minute to do this because like i said i kind of did them a little tight look i did I, I did them real good like i'm proud of myself like the mini twists eat okay but baby i did them real tight i was like ouch so i'm gonna do the same thing here and i'm just gonna twist that shaft up like a big bantu knot and then i'm just gonna roll it so that all the curls aren't falling in my face but you can see how the curls are free and i'm just gonna do it again just so y'all can see a little better how i make this happen so i'm gonna take that satin scrunchie and I'm going to put it around just the knot part because that's what's going to hold it in place. And it's also going to keep your ends nice and curly. Okay. 
and y'all are gonna see that if you wear your hair like this to sleep or just wear it like that when you get home or all day or something like that you're definitely gonna see elongated twists this is just the way that you can do it if you don't want to put the heat on your hair if you don't want to take the time to blow your hair out so that your twists are elongated this is a way that you can stretch them while they are wet so you can still get the elongated look but still have them curly because the reason why i don't blow my hair out to do mini twists is because i don't know i just I, I just don't care for that look. I've seen it before. I don't care for it. I just prefer to leave my hair naturally curly. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this down and let my hair continue drying. But I just want to thank you guys so, so much for tuning into this really short video. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.